I am ready to go for a snorkel. We'll go for a dip, take the snorkel, have a look at some coral, have a look at some fish and see if we can get to the island. Six knots. Huh? 7.6 knots. Wow. Okay. As we get under the protection of the reef, behind the reef, it's amazing how the oceanic swell just completely gone. Yeah, you see the outer reef just breaking it out. Mm. <laughs> That's why they call sailing in this lagoon bathtub sailing. <laughs> From it's so sheltered like a bathtub. Inside the outer reef is the inner reef, which surrounds this incredibly steep volcanic island. The inner reef spreads out for 5 to 25 metres in width with 25 metre drop-offs, bombing heads, coral heads, you name it, it's here. Morning ritual, yeah, we're actually anchored off um, Turtle Sanctuary for the past couple of nights and there's heaps of turtle tracks and turtle, what do you call them, turtle nests on shore, but turtles seem to be quite timid. As soon as we come near them, they dive under, so I figured Maybe if I snorkel, uh, pretend I'm one of the turtles. <laughs> act like a turtle. Oh, I gotta act like a turtle. How's a turtle act, James? That's a bird. <laughs> Not what that was. Alright. Alright, go find one. fish ran into this couple of turtles like eventually ran into them this whole place in my hot is just one big massive reef that was awesome coolest thing i've ever done in my life so glad i got to experience that gonna go for a walk we've landed on the planet mars this is ready, honey. <laughs> Strangers still, while on their hike, were to discover these multicolored sand dunes or volcanic sand dunes led down to the beach, which was black. More evidence that this was actually a volcano. In the evening, we lay back in the hammock, glass of wine, a good book, and reflect on the day's events on my hike. Bit of a normal cast day today, not so good for swimming and snorkeling. So we're doing some land visiting. We're gonna to go to a sailing club on the other side of the island. It's a nice, beautiful grey day. No swimming to see the turtles. holes. Just pull up and saw someone's mooring. We're just gonna ask if we can use it though. It is a bit cold for swimming today, so we'll stay dry, we'll stay on land, on dry land. Was it doing rolls? <laughs> oh, this is cool. Okay. No, it's a ball line. Ball line. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a bit deep to jump into, Jane. Now let's have a look how deep it is. Shouldn't be too deep. Um, ow! Um. Um, yeah, it's deep. <laughs> Quick trip to shore is turning into an adventure. Oh, merci. Oh, merci beaucoup. Yeah. And there's our... Uber. Uber. <laughs> All right. 
Rich has just put on some clean shorts. What? Oh, I don't know. Gorgeous. And all these old boats here like a graveyard. Some have been fixed and some have just been left behind. But still this is to me is a paradise, like you just want to keep working. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at how gorgeous is this. And the temperature is perfect, isn't it? Just absolutely beautiful temperature. Nice breeze, it's about 25, 26 degrees. No sun out, but nice and cool in a graveyard slash shipyard in Mayotte. little island of Village Brazil is our last stop in our circumnavigation of Mayotte. Funny enough it was going to be our first stop when we just arrived from Madagascar but the Coast Guard had different plans. Nonetheless we've decided we're gonna come back to this island and we didn't regret because it's actually really cool. It's really rocky, two islands and a sandbar between them which is only exposed at low tide. So we timed our arrival so we can enjoy the sandbar. Looks like the place is quite a popular day trip destination. There's a few people around and some are having picnic lunch on the beach. Kind of cool. It's amazing. It's a, par it's, a, it's a diver's paradise here. It's a snorkel's paradise. I've never heard of it before. And the world knows nothing about it. Only the French. Let's keep it this way. No, let's, please, yeah, let's mm -hmm. keep it this way. Just don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. 